In the quiet town of Ravenbrook, where shadows lingered longer than daylight and whispers carried tales of the supernatural, lived a vampire named Victor Blackthorn. Victor had managed to maintain a peaceful existence in the human world, hiding his true nature from the unsuspecting townsfolk. He had fallen in love with a mortal, Evelyn, and together they had a child named Amelia. Amelia, a half-vampire with a heart that beat both with the rhythm of the living and the undead, possessed a unique charm that drew the attention of the shadows. Unbeknownst to the Blackthorn family, a group of kidnappers had been lurking in the shadows, watching their every move. One moonlit night, as the town slept under a blanket of darkness, the kidnappers struck. Silently slipping into the Blackthorn residence, they snatched Amelia from her crib, leaving behind only a faint whisper of their sinister presence. Victor and Evelyn awoke to an empty room, panic gripping their undead hearts as they realized their beloved daughter was missing. In their desperate search for Amelia, Victor and Evelyn uncovered a hidden world within Ravenbrook. They discovered a clandestine organization that trafficked supernatural beings, selling them to the highest bidder on the dark market. The kidnappers, it seemed, were part of this nefarious syndicate, and Amelia was now a pawn in a game that transcended the boundaries of life and death. Driven by desperation and fury, Victor and Evelyn delved deeper into the supernatural underbelly of Ravenbrook. They sought the help of ancient vampire allies, unraveling long-buried secrets and dark alliances. As they ventured into the eerie woods that surrounded the town, the couple encountered otherworldly creatures, vengeful spirits, and malevolent forces that seemed to be protecting the kidnappers' dark secrets. The trail eventually led them to an abandoned mansion on the outskirts of Ravenbrook, where the kidnappers held Amelia captive. The mansion exuded an aura of malevolence, with crumbling walls that seemed to whisper ancient curses. Undeterred, Victor and Evelyn confronted the kidnappers, who reveled in their malevolent deeds. A gruesome battle ensued, shadows dancing with the crimson glow of Victor's eyes as he unleashed the full force of his vampiric abilities. Evelyn, armed with a determination fueled by maternal love, fought alongside him. The kidnappers, however, were no ordinary humans. They possessed enchanted artifacts and dark spells that made them formidable adversaries. Amelia, bound by mystical restraints, lay at the center of a ritualistic circle, her innocent eyes reflecting the terror that engulfed her. As the battle raged on, the mansion seemed to come alive with the echoes of tortured souls, seeking retribution for the atrocities committed within its walls. In a climactic moment, Victor and Evelyn managed to overpower the kidnappers, breaking the enchanted chains that held Amelia captive. But victory came at a cost. The mansion, angered by the intrusion, began to crumble around them, its spectral inhabitants unleashing their wrath upon the kidnappers. As the Blackthorn family escaped the collapsing mansion, they witnessed the kidnappers being consumed by the vengeful spirits that haunted the cursed place. The town of Ravenbrook, once shrouded in darkness, began to heal as the malevolent forces that had lingered for centuries dissipated. With their daughter safely in their arms, Victor and Evelyn returned to their quiet existence, forever changed by the horrors they had faced. The scars of that fateful night served as a constant reminder of the thin veil that separated the living from the supernatural and the lengths to which a parent would go to protect their child, even in the face of the darkest unknown. In the aftermath of the harrowing ordeal, Victor and Evelyn sought to rebuild their lives in Ravenbrook. The town, once oblivious to the supernatural secrets that lurked in its shadows, now bore the scars of the unearthly battle that had unfolded. Yet, life slowly returned to a semblance of normalcy, with the townsfolk blissfully unaware of the dark forces that had threatened their existence. However, the experience had left Victor and Evelyn forever changed. The couple became vigilant guardians, their senses heightened to the slightest hint of danger. They delved deeper into the lore of the supernatural, seeking to understand the malevolent forces that had targeted their family. Ravenbrook, it seemed, held more secrets than they could have ever imagined. As the years passed, Amelia grew into a remarkable young woman, displaying a blend of mortal and vampiric qualities. Victor and Evelyn, fearing for their daughter's safety, decided to train her in the ancient arts of vampiric self-defense. Under their guidance, Amelia honed her abilities, becoming a formidable force in her own right. The bond within the Blackthorn family strengthened, their shared ordeal forging unbreakable ties. Yet, whispers of the dark syndicate that had targeted them persisted in the town's rumors. The malevolent organization, though dealt a severe blow, was not entirely eradicated, and its remnants continued to lurk in the shadows, plotting revenge. One fateful night, as the moon hung low in the sky, a cloaked figure appeared at the outskirts of Ravenbrook. The town, now vigilant to the supernatural, sensed an impending threat. Victor, Evelyn, 
and Amelia, attuned to the subtle shifts in the air, recognized the danger and prepared for the looming confrontation. The cloaked figure revealed itself to be the leader of the remnants of the Dark Syndicate, seeking revenge for the downfall of their comrades. With a sinister cackle, the leader unleashed a wave of dark energy, sending shockwaves through the town. The Blackthorn family stood united, ready to face the renewed threat head-on. The ensuing battle was a symphony of supernatural powers clashing in the moonlit night. Victor's vampiric strength, Evelyn's ancient spells, and Amelia's unique blend of abilities created a formidable force. However, the leader of the Syndicate proved to be a formidable adversary, wielding powers that seemed to defy the natural order. Just when it seemed that the darkness might prevail once again, the town of Ravenbrook rallied. Ordinary humans, now aware of the supernatural undercurrents that ran through their town, joined the fight. With a collective surge of determination, the townsfolk overwhelmed the syndicate leader, banishing them into the depths of the shadows. Ravenbrook, having faced the darkness twice, emerged stronger than ever. The Blackthorn family, along with their newfound allies, became the guardians of the town, ensuring that the supernatural secrets remained hidden from those who were unprepared for the shadows that lurked in their midst. As the sun rose, casting its golden glow upon the town, Ravenbrook stood as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the unwavering strength of familial bonds. The Blackthorn family, scarred but undefeated, continued to protect their home, knowing that the shadows would forever dance at the edges of their existence. With the defeat of the syndicate leader, a newfound peace settled over Ravenbrook. The townsfolk, grateful for the Blackthorn family's unwavering bravery, came together to celebrate their victory against the supernatural forces that had threatened to tear their community apart. Victor, Evelyn, and Amelia found solace in the support of their fellow townspeople. The once-hidden vampire family became an integral part of the community, their history now intertwined with the tales of Ravenbrook's resilience. The scars of the past were worn as badges of honor, a testament to their shared triumph over darkness. As the years passed, the Blackthorns continued to live among the humans of Ravenbrook. The town itself underwent a transformation, embracing its supernatural legacy while maintaining an air of mystery. Tourists and thrill-seekers flocked to Ravenbrook, drawn by the legends of the vampire family that had overcome insurmountable odds. Amelia, now a young woman, embraced her dual nature with grace and wisdom. Her unique abilities made her a bridge between the mortal and supernatural realms and she took on the role of a mediator, ensuring harmony between the two worlds. The lessons learned from her parents' experiences fueled her dedication to keeping Ravenbrook safe. Victor and Evelyn, despite their immortal existence, found fulfillment in the ordinary moments of life. They reveled in the joy of watching their daughter grow, appreciating the beauty of each passing day. The town, once shrouded in fear, now thrived as a haven for both the living and the undead. However, as Ravenbrook basked in its newfound harmony, whispers of another ancient force began to circulate. A force darker and more formidable than anything the town had faced before. Victor, Evelyn, and Amelia, attuned to the shifting energies, sensed the impending threat. The trio, once again united by a common purpose, embarked on a journey to uncover the origins of this new menace. Their investigation led them to forgotten crypts, ancient manuscripts, and cryptic prophecies that hinted at a power that sought to eclipse even the darkest shadows Ravenbrook had known. The townsfolk, unaware of the looming danger, continued their lives, oblivious to the supernatural threads that wove through their existence. The Blackthorn family, burdened by the knowledge of the impending storm, prepared to face an adversary that threatened not only Ravenbrook but the delicate balance between the worlds. As night fell over the town, a new chapter in Ravenbrook's history unfolded. The Blackthorns, standing on the precipice of an unknown darkness, braced themselves for the challenges that lay ahead, ready to confront a malevolence that sought to plunge their home into eternal night. The whispers of the supernatural echoed through Ravenbrook once more, and the shadows stirred with a sense of foreboding, signaling that the tale of this enigmatic town was far from over. Like, subscribe, and click on notifications that will allow you to stay up to date with the news and not miss videos from the channel, where there will be many more horror stories.